Hey guys. So I'm tired. So today I'm just doing my um skincare routine. I know that I normally like post stuff on Facebook about like what I use and things of that sort. So um people just been asking me to do a tutorial, not tutorial, but just basically saying what I use because when I tell you I used to have a piece of face, a piece of face. And my face have did, has changed tremendously um, due to me like just using certain products, keeping my health intact, drinking my water, okay. etc. But um, I'm just going to show you all some of the products that I do use and um, just show you like what I do basically every single morning. And sometimes I do uh, a certain step twice a week. So I'm sitting in the bathroom because I feel like... This is where I'm going to do my thing at. So, <laughs> sit in the bathroom. Okay, so for my first product, this is what I wash with. I wash with the Urban Skin Urban Skin Cleansing Bar 3-in-1 Treatment. Turn it around. 3-in-1 Treatment. I don't know if you can see it, but this is what I wash my face with every single day. Twice a day or when I feel like I'm getting oily or anything like that. When I tell you I love their products... It just gives me a glow and like my face always feels clean when I'm done washing the pores. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I just had some ginger ale. Can't be real on here. Can't be real. But yeah. So I use this. Normally I purchase the bigger kind. This one is I think the, the two ounce. Um, I have another wash on this on the way uh, because I'm about to run out. After I wash my face, um, this is what I do two times a week. I steam my face. So, this is the first thing. Okay. When I'm ready to use this tool, which I'm going to show you, I normally steam my face. Steam my face with a white, with a towel. And I love white towels. Steam my face with a towel at least three to four times with hot water. After I'm done, um, I use this tool that you're going to see. This is a black hair remover, but it removes, I feel like it removes more than blackheads. It removes a lot of like extraness that's inside my pores. And you know, when you use hot water, you open up your pores. So I just sucking everything out of my skin. Like you're going to see the before, how it's so clean right now. And then during the process, you're going to see what comes inside of this. Um, <clears throat> No, normally after I steam and do like the, the cleaning on my pores, that's when I wash with the uh, the three in one cleansing bar. And after I wash the three in one cleansing bar, um, I do use a toner. I used to use Proactive a long time ago, and Proactive did not work for me because it started to uh started to burn my skin, and it just wasn't doing it. But I kept the toner, so I use the toner still. Um, after I wash my face, it's like a revitalizing toner, or I use rose water. And normally, you can find like the rose water, and um, I also have my face oil from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, stuff like that. You don't always have to just go purchase from a, a, a another type of company. My rose water is the hydrating mist, you could do it before after you wash your face. Um, before you put on makeup or anything of that sort, like anything. Then, after, um, I only mask. I mask three times out the week, and when I do mask, I use the Urban Skin Pumpkin Pore Mask. It's it's a self warm self warming pumpkin mask, and I love it. I hate anything that smells like pumpkin. Like, you know how you go to Bath and Body Works and it's like Thanksgiving season? It's horrible. Like, but I actually like this. Okay. Then. <laughs> I'm being ghetto. Then, after I wash my face, um, I use an exfoliant or I use a scrub. And the scrub I use is Mint Julep. Ooh, come on now. Men Julep, and you can find this at like a beauty supply store. It looks like the substance looks like oatmeal, like it looks like an oatmeal scrub. But I'm gonna show you how to. This I'm basically gonna just show you all what I do, when I do it, and how I do it. 
So let's get into it. So we are going to be doing the pour the um black hair remover tool today because I haven't did it in like four days. So we're going to start now. So I'm just going to let this water run. Anybody want to know where I got my braids done at? You can't be like me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, let me put this chair back. <clears throat> oh, I have a hair thing that you put on your hair. <clears throat> Don't talk about me. It's basically gonna keep my braids back. <laughs> gonna keep my braids back. Okay. So let's start. Get your towel. As you can see, getting this hot water on it. It is hot. And you just steam your face. I'm going to steam one more time. One more for the one. I mean, one time for the one. Ooh. Hot. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, now we're done um, getting that together. I mean, get warming up your face. So, let me wash this. And I normally, because it comes with these little tubes, um, even though I like let it sit in the drawer, I still wash it because you're about to put this on your face. So, I just get like a Q-tip and a little bit of soap and just clean it inside and around it because you don't want... Um, to have all that extra, you know, germs on it. So right now you can see that, um, the tool is clean. I don't know, like, how you're going to see this, but the tool is clean. Nothing's inside of it or around it. So on mine, I have three different levels. And I go to the third one because I just like for it to really suck everything out. So I start with my nose and I just go down. What you don't want to pull your skin because it's really suctioning this crap. It's really suctioning it out. So I just go up and you pull your skin up. You don't ever pull your skin down because you don't want to tear your skin and make you start looking baggy and dry and oh. And you see my skin is turning red because it's really like suctioning every little thing. I suggest doing the areas that that you um basically get more bumps at. So my problem areas used to be like my chin around like hormonal. Just the this is hormonal when it's around your chin and your jawline is hormonal. So I normally do that that area 
really well because I need all that excess oil out. I could get this thing off. I don't know the lighting. Go on this side. And sometimes it hurt. <laughs> And mostly do my nose area. And it's about to die. So let's put this back on the charger. Get all that and go across my forehead. Oh, the inside is disgusting. I'm about to turn it off and show you all how much it pulled out. I don't know if you could focus. If you see all that white inside of there, this is what it just pulled out. Disgusting. All from my nose, my cheek area. So yes. And I don't charge it like that but it just freaking died so you get the point you just go around every area that you suspect or not suspect every area that you're um that you know that show that where you break out at i normally break out like i said my chin area um and that's really normally it or my eyebrows i don't know why i break out in my eyebrows it's really weird but yeah you just take the tool just keep going up uh, even when you wash your face, you're never supposed to bring the towel down. You're supposed to, everything is supposed to be upwards. So you want to drag, so you want to bring your face, um, down. Um, let's see if it works now. A lot of blackheads grow on your nose. Baby, this thing is getting full. Okay. See? I'm going to let that stop for a second. It just looks disgusting. I don't know if you can see it, honey. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it pulled out a lot, a lot of, it basically extracted my face. So. <clears throat> okay, and after I do that, uh, basically, you know, take it off, wash it, of course. Get a cute tip, because you can't clean it with, with a nail or anything. So get a few sips and just clean it on out. And it's back clean. Back clean with some soap. Now, now that I've extracted some of the, the, the excess dirt and stuff out of my face, I'm going to wash with my 3-in-1 cleansing bar by Urban Skin. Once again, I tell you I love them. I have actually a lot of products by them. Um, I have the Urban Skin Lactic Glow, Lactic Glow Micro Polish. It, it makes your skin so smooth. I'm running out of that. And then I have their clarifying pad for even tone. I rarely use this because I feel like it's a lot. It's a little bit too oily for me. And I can't do oil. Oil really breaks me out. So... We're gonna wash. It's almost done, but I have another one on the way. Just take your sponge, go inside, circular motion, and it comes like this. And it comes with like three sponges. And you just, you just wash your face. You just wash your face.
Just keep watching. Flip the side. And I just got this water running. Make sure you get under your chin area. Everything. Make sure your whole face is covered. I hate when people leave like certain parts of their face. Wash your whole face, please. And I'll wash for a minute. You're supposed to let it sit on for like a couple of minutes, but it's up to you. Okay. So my face is fully covered in my wash, as you can see. And I normally like what I do to like to stall time from washing it back off. I normally just like start putting the stuff up that I used already. And and also when you wash, make sure you leave your sponge on top so it can dry. Um just start putting up stuff. I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep this charging up. But yeah, I'm gonna wash my face off and then I'm gonna show you the next step. So give me one second. And I um, rinse my face with cool water to close my pores back. Close my pores back because your pores can stay open. How do I get? So you can see, like, baby, honey, this stuff is great. And I pat dry. I do not pull my face once again. I was taught that by my mother. Do not pull your skin. Because you need the elasticity in your skin. So my face is dry right now. Okay. And just let your face air dry. I always have a damp towel, but... I always pat my skin and air dry <sighs> before I apply my mint julep. I always pat it off. I don't know when I could just keep it wet, but and I told you it looks like an oatmeal substance. It looks like it's like oatmeal, but it's not. It's a deep cleanse for refreshing clarity. And what this is gonna do is just give your skin a glow, a softness. Make sure you get all the extra excess oil off, and it, it rubs on like a scrub. So you're gonna feel those beads or whatever is in there. You're gonna feel it on your face, rub it on your face. Just Rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Make sure you get all that skin off and then get like also the dead skin off as well. I'll make sure I get my problem areas. And what's crazy, I haven't had a problem area in so long. And I'm so grateful for that. Okay. Now I'm gonna wash it off. And then make sure your skin feels, your skin feels so smooth. So smooth. Again, this is a mint julep scrub, and you can get it from a beauty supply store, Walmart, whatever. Let's just wash this off now. These braids don't, you know what? They're gonna kill me because they ain't away. Then, as I'm washing it off, I'll, I'll still be rubbing it in. So I can scrub. My face ain't cold enough. I'll be making a mess. <laughs> I be making a fool. I'm best. You can't be in the house too long by yourself, baby. You start tweaking. 
And this is the first time I'm washing my face during the day. So you all are just seeing what, what I normally do. Okay. <clears throat> so that's finished. Mind you, let your face air dry. <clears throat> okay, now that it is fully dry, um, I normally just get uh, my toner, a cotton ball, or cotton pad. Just take a little bit, because it's going to cover the whole entire face. And just clean 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 make sure you go up and do not pull down go up and not pull down your face and as you can see I used to have dark spots from I used to pop my pimples what I use for that, my mom made it for me, is um, you get some ground turmeric, you get honey, and you get lemon. You mix it in with each other, and you can just apply it on your face. It will stain, so just be careful, um, but just it, uh, just apply it on your face for about 20 minutes. Um, it's going to change your color. Like, it's going to brighten you up. It's going to ch uh, basically make your dark spots lighter. Um... And that's turmeric, honey, and lemon. And then you can make you like a full tub and put the tub in the refrigerator and just use it like I got some in the refrigerator. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you. And use it like two times a day, two times. So this is the turmeric, um, honey, and um lemon <laughs> and what i do is um you could for men i don't know if i mean you can go get like uh i don't know what you can go get but you can get something because it will stain but for women what i use is a makeup brush a new makeup brush and i use it just for this and this only just like a makeup brush dip it in there and it's like a like it's very watery um, so you just dip it in there and just apply it on your skin. And when I tell you, I used to have dark spots. So I use this probably like, cause it's like your own bleaching serum type of thing. So I probably use this at least two or three times a month. Not that many times, but yeah, you could just keep it in the refrigerator and it's going to work for you. Okay. I guarantee it. Okay, now that I have wiped my face with my toner, the last and not least, because I'm not doing a mask today, um, today is not the day I use my mask, I have like a schedule, like that's another thing, I keep my, my skin on the schedule because I don't want to just go back to how I was, so I have this bomb moisturizer from Neutrogena and it is the Hydro Boost Water Gel. Baby, I paid $15 for this from Amazon Prime because Asia, everybody knows Asia loves Prime. So, I don't like stores. Um, stores give me anxiety. So, I go to Amazon Prime, Walmart, Target, whatever, online and I'll buy it. So, this was $15. I don't know how much it is now because I think since a lot of people use it, um, it's going up, <laughs> baby. It's going up. So, I mix this Neutrogena uh, Hydro Boost Gel with my anti aging hemp beauty oil with collagen that's I bought. Excuse me, I keep burping. That I bought from what's my place? What's my place? Marshalls. And this was $4.99, and I love it. You know what hemp is, baby. That's that marijuana. <laughs> so you mix, mix, well, I mix it. You don't have to mix it. Whatever floats your butt, honey. But my nail really hurts. So I put the Neutrogena, just a little tad bit, because you are going to be using this oil, or if you don't want to use your oil, um, th this also is a good oil. 
for nighttime. And everybody, even doctors recommend um it's organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. And I bought this from Ulta. I don't know if you can see it. It's by um the product is by ordinary. And so this is the hip hip seed oil. And it's very good for your skin as well. But you can use that at nighttime. It's it's better. It says use it at nighttime, and I use it at nighttime after I wash my face. So one little drop, two little drops. Mix them all together. And just apply on your skin. Remember to go up. I don't know why I just screamed. But Remember to go up. Mm. It just feels so good. And this is. So look. Y'all don't know. But when I be doing my eyebrows. I, I think. When I be just doing my eyebrows. And I use the liner on my eyebrows. This is what breaks me out. So when I have little bumps like this. I use. This. 100% tea tree oil. Get it from the beauty spot store. When I tell you it's like perfect, perfect for everything. You just put a little dab and your pimple will go away by like the next day. So yeah. I mean that's it. This is all I do. Oh, oh, oh. And don't forget. Don't forget. Drink your water. And after you drink your water, mind your business. Drink your water, manage your business. So, yeah. That's what I do as far as my um, skincare routine. I will just put the name of the um, name of what I use at the in, the in, the, in the description box. So, you all can uh, so you all can know, baby, and get this glow, baby. So, I appreciate you all tuning in. Um, that's basically it. Take care of your skin. It was one point in time that I did not, baby, I did not even want to go outside. Um, I, used to, I used to be so, like, insecure about going outside because I used to get bumps like crazy. My bumps used to be on my nose, like, right here, like, literally root off the red nose. Just a bump right here. Then you get one above right here where your, where your nose at. And that stuff hurt it. Baby. Like, right now... I need to get rid of this dark spot right there. But as far as you can see, I have no pimples. Like, no pimples. Not a breakout in sight. And I'm just loving it. It's okay. I'm loving it. So, yeah. This is just a skincare routine vlog in quarantine. Because, baby, you got to keep your, your face. You got to keep your body up to part during this quarantine. Don't let your stuff go because you don't have to get up in the morning how you used to. Still get up. Wash your face, brush your teeth, hop in the shower, start your day, um, and just do what you need to do. But I do appreciate it. Please, if you have any other suggest suggestions regarding um, any anything I should add to my skincare routine that you all think that helps, sorry, <laughs> that helps you guys, let me know. Please write in the, um, the comments. Please, please, please subscribe like share and thank you so much for tuning in again my name is mula and i hope you all enjoyed this skincare routine and once again love you